Hello and welcome once again to News Unlocked, where we bring you the stories beyond the headlines, the stories that you need to know. Amidst the raging pandemic, millions of lives have been impacted across India and indeed the world. Businesses have downed shutters, millions more have been rendered jobless. One of the key sectors that is not discussed often is that of education, which has witnessed a disruption as big as ever before. Tonight, we focus on our college students in universities. They claim they don't get a voice on our daily news. Well, here on News Unlocked, we are here to give you a voice. This generation is now being labeled Generation Pandemic. The students just out of school in colleges waiting to graduate, staggering into a world that is very different from what it used to be just six months ago. And now there is a new twist because the University Grants Commission or UGC is saying that examinations will have to be mandatorily held in colleges across the country by the end of September. How are students and professors and indeed several state governments reacting? The battle, should there, the dilemma really, should exams be held or not? That's our focus on the News Unlocked. Take a look. Having lost over four months due to the COVID lockdown, universities have been forced to rethink crucial certification examinations, leaving lakhs of college students in anxious fervor. The sheer delaying of exams so many times has really taken a toll on mental health. On July 6, University Grants Commission or UGC India's higher education regulator released its revised guidelines for examinations. It advised universities to hold final year or end semester exams by end of September 2020. The final year exams can be held in pen and paper mode, in online mode or in blended mode. Students with backlogs should compulsorily take the examinations and in case a student is unable to appear in September, they should be provided with the opportunity to appear in special exams held for the purpose as a one-time measure. But these guidelines haven't gone down well with university students across the board. I don't think this is the right way to conduct examinations for our batch and this is just making situation worse for everyone. The exam now only the current main is that distant maintained student nahi kar paega. Students from various universities have taken to social media to register their protest against UGC's policy for online examinations, pointing out the glaring issues they face. I live in a small town called Matadila, which comes in UP. The internet connectivity here is not that well. 20 minutes before the exam, my laptop started lagging. By the time I could get my laptop to work, my internet stopped working. As a result, I was 15 minutes late to the exam. The unique problem that we have is that uh, the online proctoring software that uh, our college is using uh, has virus. It uh, causing to break many of our uh, students' uh, laptops. University professors have also joined the students to ask UGC to reconsider their exam policies. For the first year, just one sem last one semester exam of the first semester plus internal assessment. For the fourth semester, last three semester plus internal assessment. There is no reason why the same formula should not be extended to the third year undergraduate student. They have already taken five semesters, this is just one semester. Because it's a new format, they're not sure about how to write the answers, how they will be evaluated, when the results will be out, what is going to happen to them in the future. If we this year, we have a zero session, and if we have a criteria in the next session, we have a criteria in the next session, we promote all the children, it hardly matters, because losses are all the same. UGC claims their revised guidelines on final year exams will be implemented even in states which had announced cancellations earlier. 
So what, where does the UGC, the University Grants Commission, stand on an issue which affects the lives of lakhs of students? Remember, states like Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, Odisha, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh have already scrapped examinations in view of the COVID-19 outbreak. Now that the UGC is saying that exams have to be conducted, final year exams, what happens to the lives of students? Joining us now, special guest, Professor Bhushan Patwardhan is Vice Chairperson of the University Grants Commission. He joins us to give us the very latest. Appreciate your joining us, Professor Patwardhan. Why is the UGC so hell-bent on ensuring that the final year exams must be held by the end of September when so many students, as you heard there, a few professors too believe that there could be a better system in place than exams in Corona times? No, it's not a question of hell bent. Rajdeep ji, UGC on 29th of April, we have given guidelines in which we had made very clear uh, what will be the situation regarding examination and the entire academic uh, calendar. You know, This is 29th April. So we were expecting that universities start preparing uh, because uh, in academic uh, life cycle, you know, right. without examination, awarding degree is not really something which we should encourage. That's what we feel. And we feel that very strongly because um, uh, 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 whatever we could do, you know, uh, we, we have uh, uh, taken all the care and the guidelines uh, clearly indicate uh, that how these examinations can be taken. We have given full freedom to the universities to do it online, offline, blended, whatever it is. And the mechanism also they can decide as their yes, own. Sir. sir, but there is complete confusion on the ground. Two months ago, you held this meeting in April. We are now in July. Earlier, you had planned to hold exams in June. Now you push them to September. Many universities are in no position to conduct these examinations. Delhi University, the country's premier university, has already changed the dates twice. Can you imagine the confusion and trauma, sir, that students are going through? Because either you have states like Maharashtra, which are now insisting they will not conduct the exam, or you have DU, which cannot even decide on a date. No, that is really unfortunate, and I'm really sorry that students are left to this kind of a confusing status, you know. But uh, we are very clear right from the beginning, and our stand is consistent that in academic life, you know, we have to uh, maintain the uh, academic credibility, and this is a question of students' future, you know. We can't take decisions based on uh, instantaneous emotional uh, calls. You know? So that's what we feel. And we are consistent for a long time, and still we are same. Uh, we are. Uh, we we hope that universities would have really prepared themselves in the meantime. Sir, my point is, and this is what many students are saying, that there could be a better system according to them, which is internal assessment. Many schools are already doing it. Why can't colleges? They are saying take an average of the last five semesters. Uh, that may be a better way to uh, to assess uh, a student through an internal uh, assessment system then force down exams which are being done at a time when it appears that the entire system is actually unprepared to hold for example online exams why force a system when you're not prepared for it no that's really unfortunate because there was sufficient time at one point of time mm -hmm. and the preparation could have really easily been made and it is very easy, Rajdeep ji, uh, to tell students that, okay, you will be passed, you know, without examinations. And students at their age, you know, may get really uh, enthused with all these ideas. But it is their future, you know. Can you imagine a doctor becoming a doctor without an examination or engineering becoming engineer without examination? This is un... Uh, for me, in academics, we just can't do this. Sir, I, I concede your point that people need examination, but then the examination system needs to be flawless and transparent. The mock exams which were carried out last week in Delhi University for online had numerous glitches. Students went through a lot of pain. Clearly, the university is finding it difficult to ensure that these exams are conducted properly. Now, if that's happening in Delhi, imagine what will happen in a small town. Don't you agree that the exam system has to be transparent and flawless? No, examination system should be flawless. There is no question about it. But I feel that if we are able to use current technology mm -hmm. uh, and if we are able to use ways, if we decide that we want to do it, you know, there will be ways and means how to do it. If we take the stand that we cannot do it, then the road is closed, you know. So we are uh, just requesting 
that we are in academics we teach people you know and if we only start behaving in such a way and telling that uh, no you don't have to do examination you will get degree without examination i think we will be giving very very wrong signal to the new generation we will be actually spoiling their future you know with this kind of a transcript if a bright student want to go out and take admission for future studies outside what they will do they are really in trauma every day i am getting calls and uh, from parents and students you know I mean, this is not something which is uh, good for our country and for our students sir i must be honest with you uh, mr patwardhan professor patwardhan i am also getting calls every day from students that's why we are doing this show many of them are from small towns they say they will struggle to come to back to the big cities to campuses if there are uh, if the exams are held uh, on the campus if they are online they are worried they don't have the kind of internet facilities that maybe other students have there's a digital divide these are the concerns that students have which are not being addressed sir yeah i know i know but again i will tell you if there is a will there will be way i can tell you that even in remote as the remote areas you know you can do this there are ways to do it in every village there will be a, a panchayat there will be a responsible uh, government body mm -hmm. there can doctor students need not come here even delhi university examination can be taken if student is in somewhere else you know if you are able to really structure this examination properly as you rightly said you know without so, compromising the uh, sanctity and rigor of the examination it can be easily done i i don't think it is impossible so uh, it is just we have to decide that okay together we are going to do this you know what happens then to states for example maharashtra punjab which have clearly said we are not accepting what the ugc is saying they are saying or they seem to be saying we have taken a decision no exams this year no final exam this year what will the ugc do to those states now no i i i, I can't comment on that but uh, ugc is very clear and if you refer to ugc regulation 2003 you know although we are saying ugc guidelines actually ugc guidelines are kind of a, a mandatory for all the universities you know that's what the regulation says and uh, in order to bring in uniformity mm -hmm. uh, all the states will have to finally states can take their own decision you know means but the, the decision have to be in line with the broader framework of the national policy so one of the concerns that students have is the, the sop that you put in place for safety of students can you give the guarantee can ugc give any guarantees that holding these exams in whatever format will not affect the safety of students many students in a classroom what happens to physical distancing these are among the concerns being expressed in covid times professor no i agree uh, uh, but guarantee nobody can give rajdeep ji i can tell you nobody can give guarantee of anything the situation is evolving so rapidly that we don't know what is going to happen even tomorrow so we don't know that so nobody but when we are opening uh, liquor shops when we are opening uh, different kinds of other uh, commercial establishments you know the same questions and same concerns can be you now here we are talking about education here we are talking about future of the student sure. you know, we should not compromise on that because for temporary gain for pleasing students temporarily we should not spoil their career for a long term let me ask you in conclusion then professor is this decision irreversible is this september end deadline that you have put cut in stone will there be further postponement if covid cases continue to rise so as i told you um, in corona situation especially when we are facing such a disaster nothing can be uh, uh, stationary you know we have to be open all, all the time uh, september we are saying based on today's situation in september if situation is different you know we will have to take that call like we said earlier that uh, examination should be held in july now we are saying okay you can held it up to september so this 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 thing for i i remember in 1973 i was told i i of course i don't remember meaning i am not with them but there was such situation and ex examinations in some states were postponed almost for one year or even more mm -hmm. so postponement is one thing and cancelling the examination is another thing i think we have to come to some kind of a practical resolve for that and for this purpose the uh, academic fraternity should closely work with students and please uh, tell them you know that this is for their own i have talked to different students you know personally and when i talk to them initially they say no no we we are very happy we are getting passed and we don't have to do the exam but when you probe with them when you engage with them they agree no we want examination because this is question of our future okay you've spoken out you've broken your silence clearly the ugc is saying 
we will not cancel the exams. We will at best postpone them if COVID cases rise. Appreciate your joining us, Professor Patwardhan, to give the UGC's point of view. Now, that's the UGC's point of view. What do professors and students of Delhi University think about this decision, particularly the online open book examination? Ayushi Jindal and Sushant Mehra now bring from Delhi their voices. The Delhi University, in preparation for holding final year exams, has been conducting mock tests to prepare students as well as to check their systems. But both undergraduate and postgraduate students of Delhi University are opposing the online open book exam. DU will be conducting the exams from July 10th. This despite there being technical glitches and no preparation in advance for the students. India Today spoke to final year students to find out the issues they faced during the university's mock online examinations. The university is unprepared and it is also incompetent to, uh, to conduct online examinations. So the problems which I had faced were in during the mock examinations with regard to my registration. I could not register at the first go because uh, even though uh, enter, after entering my details uh, for the tenth time, it was always the screen kept on greeting me with an invalid record. The site is made in such a complex structure that they could not even find the right link to download the question paper. Even if we are required to write our answers, scan them and then upload it, it still needs one hour of very good high speed internet connectivity which is a privilege not all of us have. I only get overall uh, R for the exam. So what's the point of like uploading and what's the point of giving extra time to students for the OB? It's just, you know, a bogus feed given to students. And students aren't the only ones complaining about the mock exams. Since Delhi University has initiated the mock OBE examination, uh, I've been inundated with phone calls with a lot of students who are anxious about the format of the question paper, they're facing a lot of technical glitches. This regular postponing of the examination is also adding to the uncertainty of students. Delhi University students have written to Delhi University Teachers Association, DUTA, and marked the Dean and VC as well on their mails, voicing their concerns. But the DU administration says that there have been no major problems in the mock tests for the open book exams and that the final exams will happen as per schedule. And joining me now is Dr. Rajiv Ray, President of the Delhi University's Teacher Teachers Association. Why are the teachers opposing this concept of an open book exam? Why are you opposing the idea of an online exam? You might have heard the UGC chairperson. He says, in your final year, you have to have exams. You can't have a system without exams. Uh, Rajdev ji, uh, I heard the vice chairman of the UGC very clearly. Mark his words. On 29th of April, it was an advisory. Mm -hmm. Now on 6th of July, it is a directive and it's a mandatory on all states and all universities in the country. Mm -hmm. I will get back into the mockery of the mock tests that happened in Delhi University for three days, which you have already mentioned and mm -hmm. covered. When six, seven states have already said that they are not in a position to take the examinations and not a single student has said that they do not want examinations. I mean, the uh, no, so know, what do you the want? painting, uh, what uh, do you the, want? the painting, we want, we have a system of a continuous uh, assessment. We have our past performance. We have internal assessment onto our side. We can take, I mean, in your report itself, you have mentioned where teachers of Delhi University have given in, not only teachers of Delhi University, very many students' organizations have also given in, you know, different formulae to come up with, uh, a, you know, assessment of students. No, but why so are you against the idea of an exam? Why are you against the idea say, of an UGC says an exam is a critical part of uh, assessment. 
that you have to have an exam. See, see what they are saying is that you have to have a present examination, either in online, offline, or a blend of both. Yes. This is what they are saying. Yes. This is what exactly they are saying. We are not against examinations, but you know, what is an examination? It is an assessment and every university is supposed to have a method or a procedure which is uh, which has sanct uh, sanctity, which is fair enough. As teachers, we don't consider the online open book examination to be fair enough Why? to students. The point is that we have neither taught in that manner. The students, a majority students, are outside the ambit mm -hmm. of uh, the online mode itself. And they are facing problems and uh, as reported over here and very well reported over here. I mean, we have got males in thousands. Mm -hmm. And it is very clear that we are not saying that no to examinations. Examinations, continuous examinations and internal assessment and what has already happened for the first year and second year students in undergraduate are you, students. Are you okay if, if it is are, are you the okay if the exams are postponed by six months? Because that will only increase the anxiety of see, the students. We we are saying very clearly no postponement. The results can be done within a month itself. Based on internal we assessment. We have given yeah, but internal and continuous assessment, we can mark them. We have given them certain formula and which they have accepted in certain uh, uh, you right. know, in the first year and second years, but so, something happens in the final year. So it arises in the heads of a few people that they will decide on the uh, life uh, of physical and of course the mental health of all students and teachers. So you in are a single juncture. Okay, so you are very clearly saying, so the professors are clearly saying internal continuous assessment is the best way in a way to take this situation forward rather than mandatory examinations uh, either Rose, online. If I may add. Yes, very quickly, sir. Uh, 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 very quickly, I will add. What is good for maybe Delhi University may not be good for some other university. We have to realize that we are in different zones in the country. We have universities, Point which taken. Have many colleges, many postgraduate. Yeah. So we have to take the local conditions and if what is your demography of students that's all important we have in most colleges around students coming from 26 states okay point well that's taken the average in delhi university point well taken all your points are well taken this was an opportunity to give all of you a vo voice remember it's not just the university examination the covid 19 crisis has disrupted entire academic calendars delayed competitive and entrance examinations as well Remember, DNB students, JE students, and NEET students are all under pressure. Ayushi Jindal, Sushant Mehra bring you this report. The coronavirus pandemic has disrupted the academic calendar like never before, leaving thousands of students preparing for competitive examinations anxious and with a huge set of problems. जो लड़के और लड़कियां यहां पे रह रहे हैं उसके घर से घर से पैसे की समस्या है उसके घर से और सारी समस्या है जो यहां पे ऑलरेडी उसको घर से पैसे भी नहीं आ रहे हैं और वो कैसे सरवाइव कर रहे हैं रूम रेंट तो माफ नहीं हो रहा है रूम रेंट में उसको टॉर्चर किया जा रहा है एग्जामिनेशंस फॉर द सॉट आफ्टर सिविल सर्विसेज वाज ओरिजिनली स्केड्यूल्ड टू हैपन ऑन मे 31st बट हैड टू बी पोस्टपोन्ड एंड विल नाउ बी हेल्ड इन द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर ये मेरा आखिरी अटैम्प्ट है संघ लोक सेवा आयोग की सिविल सेवा परीक्षा का मुझे और मेरे परिवार को इस परीक्षा से बहुत उम्मीदें हैं लेकिन इधर कोरोना के कारण यूपीएससी ने अपनी परीक्षा को पिछले कुछ महीनों के लिए टाल दिया है जिसके कारण उनके मानसिक स्तर पर गलत प्रभाव पड़ रहा है However for the first time ever this year the Union Public Service Commission has given the candidates an option to change their previously selected exam center the last batch of dnb doctors approximately 5000 of them have completed their training and submitted their theses their practical exam was originally due in march or april but was postponed and they were posted in covid wards across the country the practical exam conducted by the national education board is now scheduled between july 14 and august 27th and the centers are in far away zones not where these doctors are currently working
so i opted for the west zone for my practical center and today i got my admit card in that admit card clearly you can see like they have given me the uh, uh, center for the bangalore karnataka trains are not uh, running flights are very limited on the other hand the hotels are not taking any bookings for accommodation where will a student like me travel to that state where will i stay for my examination we request to national board of to the national board of examination as well as to ministry of health and family welfare at least one time exemption for practical examination and if that is not possible kindly consider for home center examination meanwhile after being postponed twice those then are stories and voices of our students voices that i hope will be heard our anxious students deserve better thanks for watching this is the news unlocked bye for now hello everyone this is rahul kamal here hope you enjoyed this video for the latest news and analysis like and subscribe the india today youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated